How y'all doing? It's Brandon with Voodoo Forge. Now, I got a lot of scrap that's starting to build up. I started putting some on top of my my table saw. Yeah, that's uh, that's one pile of scrap. And then I started throwing a bunch under some of my grinders. That's another pile of scrap. And then the corners of the shop, anywhere where there's a corner and things can be leaned, those are like scrap magnets. I'm assuming you're starting to get the point. I don't even want to talk about these lockers. See these lockers? Some of these lockers have like a purpose and have like things in them like this. It's got my personal protective equipment in it and I've got one handle a locker that's full of handles and one that I put folding camp chairs in. But several of these lockers just have scrap material piled in them. So I've got to do something with my scrap. So I, I'm starting, I've got to get specifically the stuff on my table saw. I need to use my table saw for some stuff. So I'm starting some projects that just adventures from the scrap pile, I guess. And the first thing I made was this. And this is just a big door pull or shoot, maybe a towel holder, who knows. But this is out of um, a piece of kind of unusual scrap, but uh, all of this material is scrap. So let's make this thing. Okay, so this is the stock I've picked for this project. This is about 20 and a half inches long right here. And this started out as either seven eighths or one inch round stock that um, got kind of just distorted uh, over several years. This was a, a off of a, a grate in the bottom of an outdoor wood boiler. And um, it started to distort and pull the, the, the grate apart. A buddy of mine, it was his, he brought it to me. I cut a few of these out and um, put some new ones in to fix it for him, but it's been laying over there in the scrap pile and it's just kind of got a unique uh, organic shape and I'm just gonna utilize it exactly how it is. I'm just gonna clean it up with a wire brush and then I uh, figured it'd make a good door pull or, or a gate pull. And then these are uh, two and three quarter slugs punched out of some 3 16 plate scrap that a buddy of mine uh, brings me from a, one of the automotive plants. And I'm gonna use these to uh, attach it to the, the door gate. And then this is just some half inch round stock scrap that um, ought to work uh, good in here. Uh, now this is gonna be 95% fabrication. The only thing that's gonna be in the forge at all is I'm gonna throw these in the forge and, uh, and just kind of put some hammer marks on the edges and some texture. Um, and and that is about it as far as forging but anyway when you're just trying to get rid of scrap it is what it is <laughs> half inch stock was five and a half inches so i'm cutting it down to two two and three quarter inch pieces center punch it. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I mean, things being made out of scrap. Doesn't have to be perfect. I would say that I am going to fully regret not having measured out and spaced these holes properly. <laughs> Looks like I let my seven-year-old do it. It's terrible.
to do you? Well, I marked my centers. So it's tacked on. <clears throat> Well, there it is. It's not uh, not beautiful, but it is uh, what I was looking for, which is just totally unique and uh, organic. So I think it's cool. Shoot a coat of polyurethane on it and be done with it. All right. Well, that was that. It's definitely unique. I mean, it's. Um, Probably not the prettiest thing I've ever forced, but it's it's unique. I'll take this when I do shows and put it on the display. Maybe somebody will want it. Maybe they won't. Maybe I'll tote it around forever. Um, but it's like I said, this is scrap. This is adventures in the scrap pile. So um, the next uh, thing I make out of scrap is another door pull, and uh, I'll do have the video up for this one uh, after a while. But uh, I like door pulls. I really like door pulls because there's not a lot of rules to door pulls, but this one's fabricated and, and forged, and uh, I'll get that video up pretty soon. Um, anyway, if you liked the video, please hit the like button, and if you have any questions or comments, please do that below. If you'd like to find us on Facebook, you can find my business page at Voodoo Forge, or the page that supports the Facebook channel is Voodoo Tennessee. So anyway, uh, like I said, I hope you all enjoyed it, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. All right, y'all behave yourselves.